All right, you guys, and welcome back. It's your girl, Sandra D, the main event, and welcome to my community of love. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? We will not be talking about hair. We will not be talking about food. We are on this journey of talking about the narcissist. Now, today we're going to be talking about the trauma bond. Now, a trauma bond is a technique that the narcissist is using to try to delay or stop your destiny to greatness because they know that you are great. They know that you are awesome. They peak game a long time ago. So what they're trying to do is get you into this state of weakness, a state to where they're trying to get you to depend on them. Now, what they're doing when they're leaving you in this state, what they want you to do is to blame yourself for the relationship for not working out so that they can leave the relationship without any repercussions, where they're not taking the responsibility and the accountability for their actions. This is a way for them to shift blame everything that happened on you. Okay, this is also an emotional state where they're leaving you because they don't want you to be able to recover. Okay, so you need to look at the trauma bond as a transfer of power. Okay, have you ever seen two different plants in a pot and both of them are 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 healthy? But then as time goes on, you see one plant that's healthy, but the other one seems to be weak that it seems to be dying. Well, what the narcissist is doing is they're trying to be in the same pot with you. Okay. But they are sucking the very power and draining you where you're not receiving the nutrients and the nurturing that you need. Okay. So what they're doing is trying to take the spotlight to be able to be the one that's shining, that makes them look like they're capable, that they're healthy, that they're mature, if you will. And what they're trying to do is transfer that onto you, okay? Knowing that they are not healthy. Remember, I told you, this is a, a narcissist is an individual who is stuck in the past, who has been traumatized, okay? And they never healed from that past, hurts and wounds and suffered wrongs. So what they're doing is trying to cast that onto you. And what they're doing is trying to extract from you your greatness, your healthiness, your shine. They're trying to step into your spotlight, onto your stage. Okay. And what they're doing with this trauma bond is trying to weaken you. Now, what they're doing is placing an invisible a uh, straight jacket onto you. Okay. Have you ever seen anybody in a straight jacket or seen a movie with someone being placed in a, a in a straight jacket? What does it do? It binds them. It ties them up without them being resistant where they can't move, where they're stuck. Okay. You remember the example that I gave you guys in regards to a, a, a spider and his web? And how that web is there. And if a fly actually flies on to it, what happens? That fly can't move. It's stuck. And what does the spider do? The spider goes to the fly and they take their web and they spin a web around that spider to bind them into place so that they can come and feed off of that, so that they can feed off of that fly that got stuck in their web. This is what the narcissist is doing to you. And what they're doing is when they place you into that state, how it all happens is during that love bombing stage. This is where they created that character for them to play that role that you had gave them all the tea about who you are, what you are, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So they're going to create this character, okay, of being someone that is the person of your dreams, okay? So when they do that, they created this character. And then what you're doing is you're filling in the gaps, giving them the tea. But what you don't understand is they created this love potion, okay, for you to drink. 
But what you don't know is you're drinking the poison of what's about to come into your life. Okay. You remember when I gave you the analogy in regards to Snow White? Okay. And she bit that apple because she thought that it was going to provide her something that she already had. But what wind up happening? She was eating an apple that turned out to be poisonous. Okay, this is what the narcissist did to you during that love bombing stage. They created a love potion for you. Okay, they created a character for you, for you to believe that they were the person of your dreams. And while you were in that relationship, okay, after the honeymoon of that, you drank that love potion. And they, after they had placed you on to this pedestal, they dropped you. Okay, now they dropped you on purpose because they wanted to receive and get from you and start draining from you your destiny, your power, the essence and the core of who you are. So they started to belittle you. Okay. They started to put you in an emotional state. These are the things that they did on purpose so that you would not be able to fight back. Then they came back with the love potion again to keep you off balance, to keep you into a brain fog. Okay. For you to try to figure out what is going on, spinning your head round and around and around. Okay. They also did this and you're, you're, um, not understanding what's going on because they're keeping you like a hamster on the wheel. You keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Not understanding that they use all of these different type of techniques to be able to suck the very energy, the essence of who you are to transfer your power onto them in exchange for them giving you their weaknesses. Okay, this is what they were doing. They were extracting from your destiny. These are the things that you need to be aware of when you're dealing with certain different types of personalities and people. And the tactics and the tricks and the manipulation and the games that they will try to play. This is why with the gaslighting, they were trying to get you to change your truth for their lie by casting reasonable doubt. They wanted you to be in this state and they was not expecting for you to come out on the other side, which is why they created the trauma bond in the first place. Because if they felt like they couldn't have you, then they didn't want you to be with anyone else and they did not want you to fulfill your destiny without them or they wanted to ride on your coattail. Okay, just remember that you're destined for greatness and understand that when you're coming to this community of love, we are here to empower, we are here to educate, we are here to uplift, and we are here to inspire. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.